All right, Steelers Nation. Omar Khan is in the lab. He cooking up, chefing up something. I mean, we didn't see him get rest in the building for 1.2 mil. We've also seen him go out there and pick up Patrick Queen, you know. Go ahead, snatch him up from the ops. Bring him all over here to the good side. I love that, love that. But we also uh, been willing and dealing. Yeah, Deontay Johnson um, officially being traded to the Carolina Panthers. And uh, interesting deal right here, man. So Deontay Johnson and our seventh round uh, draft pick in this year, uh, 240th overall. We're sending that to the Carolina Panthers for Dante Johnson, who is a corner, and their 178th overall pick, which is the sixth round. All right, shout out to us, sixth round, boys. You know what time we on, baby, all right? But um, interesting move in the sense of with Deontay Johnson, we know at various points this season, there were reports of him being just, you know, a little disgruntled with the situation here. Um. And with the quarterback play, kind of alluded to some of that even when he came on the show and did the interview with us. And then um, we were getting some of the reports that he was trying to get uh, trying to get traded in. You know, he initially, I think, kind of laughed at the reports, but never really denied them either. And um, everything seemed like that was the, the direction it was going to go. I thought things potentially could have changed or shifted because of Russell Wilson. I thought with him signing, man, that was going to be a big, you know, swing factor in terms of DJ potentially wanting to stay here or even the organization viewing him and saying, man, let's keep him because now we got just a higher end option potentially at quarterback and a Russell Wilson. And maybe we can get even more production from him and a George Pickens. But I was a little bit surprised to see that they went ahead and made that trade, man. And, um, Moving him and the seventh rounder or a seventh round pick for, you know, Dante Jackson in the six, we did, you know, move up. So I do like that from a draft standpoint. Um, we are moving on from the $18 million contract that he was going to still have and uh, the $3 million roster bonus that was going to be due to him on Friday as well. So all of those things are good from a financial standpoint, but obviously we have a whole um, opposite of George Pickens. So that'll be interesting to see what's the next move that we do to ultimately solidify or uh, improve upon the production that Deontay was giving us. We talked about him. It's like, man, we don't have to love him. But when you look at what he was doing from a, statist a statistical standpoint, the guy was one of the top receivers, man. And that was, you know, part of why he was getting what he was getting. And, uh... You know, here we are. So, like I said, man, interesting to see what Omar does for the rest of free agency or potentially sets up for the draft now. But a little bit about Dante Johnson, former second round draft pick in that same draft class that Deontay Johnson was in 2018. So uh, just coming off his sixth season, he's been a starter his whole time in Carolina. Starts on the right side, start on the left side, outside corner, um, about 5'10", good size, but he can fly. He's a fast, fast guy, 4'3 type corner. Um, very, very productive with the ball in terms of being a ball hawk. 14 career interceptions. That's a lot of production. Um, this was the uh, this past season was the first time in his career that he uh, had a season without having an interception. So just in that vein, I'm very interested to see, you know, what we could do with that or what he could bring to the table um, from an interception standpoint. Like you said, man, we love turnovers, especially getting them in bunches. That's something that he has done a good job of. Another thing about Dante, he's been a team captain. Love to see that. That means we got leadership. That means you got somebody that's not afraid to be the front man, that's not afraid to, you know, either lead by example or be a little bit more vocal. But whatever that is, that maturity, I do like that, especially when you think about Patrick Peterson, right? That's something that we're losing out on. So at least you're bringing somebody in that has been a team captain elsewhere. So that should also be able to carry over in terms of just, like I said, keeping that back in mature. So I do like that. Um, but in terms of Dante, the player, man, like I said, he, he will hit you. Like I said, I definitely like that. Um, like I said, fast dude, though, man. Fast and ball hawk. That's those two things that kind of jump off the screen when I look at him, man. But like I said, man, it'll be interesting to see how we continue to fill out this back end of, this, uh, of the secondary and stuff like that. But um, let me know your thoughts, though. All right. Deontay Johnson traded to the Carolina Panthers for Dante Jackson. All right. Seventh round, sixth round draft pick swap. Y'all like the move? 
Y'all hate the move? Where y'all at with it? Let me know, let me know. But either way, the comment, willing and dealing, baby. I'm over here just like, oh, oh, I'm, man. You see, I got the jacket on, duped out, right? Go Dukes, man. You see them boys win the Sun Belt. Let's go. We dancing, all right? Is that my little man's baseball practice? I'm just, ah, DJ, you got to trade? No, why? Ah. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, baby, peace.